The Dwarf Planet series sits in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It has about 1 13th the mass of Earth, 3% of Earth's gravity, and the soil is filled with ice. And according to a new paper, it might also be the best place to build our next permanent human colony. There's a lot of talk of building a permanent settlement on the surface of Mars or on the Moon, but some astronomers worry that building a settlement on the surface of any planet is more trouble than it's worth. You have to deal with things like solar radiation and extreme temperatures and low gravity, which can really wreak havoc on the human body. There's a better way, these astronomers say. Instead of building a settlement on the surface of a planet, let's build it in orbit around the planet instead. A physicist named Gerard K. O'Neill first proposed a version of this idea in the 1970s. He envisioned a fleet of floating cylinders, each one equipped with its own artificial gravity, artificial atmosphere, and agriculture. The concept art for some of this stuff is amazing. It looks like a paradise stuffed into a tube. A Finnish astronomer named Pekka Jan Hunen recently picked up this idea again, proposing that we build a mega satellite of these habitat cylinders around the dwarf planet series. This satellite would contain hundreds or thousands of these cylinders, and each one would hold about 50,000 people and sit inside a giant circular frame around the planet. And on either side of the frame would be these two giant glass mirrors to angle sunlight into the colony. Now, what's so special about Ceres? Well, first of all, it's not much farther from Earth uh, on average than Mars is, but more importantly, the rocks of Ceres contain a lot of nitrogen, which would be crucial in building the settlement's artificial atmosphere. Yan Hunin is very optimistic about this uh, project and thinks we could be moving into our floating habitats in the next 20 years or so, he told me. Now, this basic idea is not new, and a lot of astronomers do consider O'Neill colonies to be a viable alternative to building on the surface of another planet. I spoke with Manash V. Lingham, an assistant professor of astrobiology at the Florida Institute of Technology, and he told me his biggest concern is with the time frame presented here. The time scale of 22 years that is derived operates under, under the assumption of exponential growth throughout this 22 year period. So it's not inconceivable and it's not implausible, but uh, might be a lower bound in the sense that it might be under the most optimal conditions and the real time scale might be uh, longer. And he said it's also not totally clear how we'd go about stocking up on other nutrients that we would need, like phosphorus, for example, which aren't plentiful on Ceres like nitrogen is. Future versions of this proposal will have to take that into consideration, he told me, but nothing is off the table. And it doesn't mean that we won't be looking down on Ceres one day, toasting each other with champagne out in space. 